it, academic writing has not been as difficult nowadays as it was when I was doing my PhD it's because there are multiple AI tools, platforms and apps which are going to help you to make this process easy for you. Instead of AI tools and different platforms, there is an other product in the market which is going to help you to make your processes and those are Google Chrome extensions. Most of the people are not familiar that most of the Google Chrome extensions are, are free to use and they are very handy and resolve your issues at the spot. So in this video, we're going to review some important Google Chrome extensions which are going to help you to make your process of data evaluation and writing easy. You can access the links of all these Chrome extensions from the description below. The very first extension which we are going to review today is the SciSpace. SciSpace is an extension which is going to help you to evaluate any web page or any kind of a PDF file or a research paper while staying on the same interface. You just have to click the extension and the free feature of this extension offers you to ask about 12 questions from that research paper and you just explain the abstract of this paper in two lines what are the contribution of these papers and this way you can ask about any section of the research paper or about the web page by using this extension and for example we click the limitation of this paper and SciSpace will give us the limitation of this paper in the same way we can uh, take the help of a SciSpace in the same way we can use this extension to explain a specific section of the research paper we, we just select the portion we want to explain and we click click on this icon which appears on that paragraph we can ask uh, SciSpace to summarize that paragraph to explain or to give us the related research paper and with the paid features of this Chrome extension you are able to explain any kind of a figures tables diagrams in the form of a text which is a very big support for a person who is new with the specific kind of a data. Second extension which I found very useful when we come up with the summarizing and evaluating the data uh, either in the form of a web page or either uh, that is a PDF file is the Casper AI. We just click on the Casper AI and here are and here we can take help in a multiple ways like for example this is the text and uh, when we select the text do right click and Casper will appear in the option. Casper will provide you an option to summarize the data to give the insights to counter argument to explain like I am five or help me in a brainstorm or concise or elaborate or format and even translate into multiple language for example we can say that uh, counter argue this uh, statement which I have highlighted in the research paper and Casper AI will come up with the counter arguments if it exists in the literature so this is the uh, original argument so this is the original text and this is the counter argument Casper AI come up with and in the same way I can ask Casper AI to explain it like I am five so Casper AI will help me to make this information as easy as possible for my better understanding. The third tool is my favorite tool and that is the Grammarly. You can do Grammarly extension in your Google Chrome and even in your Microsoft Word file. These both are free and this extension is not only going to make any kind of a grammar or a, a language correction in your document but in your email, in your WhatsApp chat, in, in all of your conversation which we which you do while using your Chrome bar. Then when you have to write with the chat GPT, uh, chat GPT, chat GPT without any Chrome extension appear like uh, this but in if you have this specific Chrome extension then then your chat GPT will appear like this with a hundred and prompts build in prompts which help you to write any specific kind of a document for example if you want to write an article you want to outrank article you want to humanize a human style rewriter you want to strategy for keyword to generate your script of your YouTube video you just have to give the title and this uh, extension will help you to write the data in well structured form according to the requirement of that specific specific document and the major problem that this web chat extension is going to solve that it is going to provide you the information with the references and this is the major issue when anybody is using chat GPT to gather the information that all the information come up without any source or without any reference for example if I write applications of finding click quiz you can find the references at the end of the each application and when I click up and the list of the sources available at the end of my document I and even I can cross check the source of information by clicking that link and the last extension for today is the very important extension when you are writing definitely you are collecting the sources and, and to understand the format of different type of reference styles is a very hectic task for anybody so this extension with the name of a 
scribble citation generator help me to generate the citation of any web link a youtube video pdf file research paper book chapter in my said reference style for example this is the wikipedia file and i have to generate its citation scribble will generate the citation of this wikipedia source in my set style for example i want an i triple e it will be generated in I triple E style. I want this reference in in any style. Scribble will generate that citation in a set. Scribble will do this for me in a click. Or for example, if I want to uh, this specific video, I just click on the Scribble citation generator, and Scribble will generate a citation for me for this video, which is a very difficult task for anybody to generate according to this reference style. If you apply these citation in your academic writing process, they are going to help you a lot. There are multiple Chrome extension about them. I talk in my previous videos. You can find them in an, in my academic AI tools playlist. Or and if you find this video useful uh, and you want to learn more about these kind of a Chrome extensions or AI tools which are going to help you to make your academic writing process more easy, more fast, and more precise, then don't forget to comment in the comment section and share this video with others to whom you want to help. We'll see you another video. Till then, take care of yourself. Bye bye.